All right, mate. So um, TOMO here. I I don't really like this situation. Um, not not that I not that I'm saying it can't go higher. Like funding here is good. The, the, this is good. The, the volume is good. Volume's still declining. Actually, um, there might be a break. There might be a, you know a, a bit of a break out of this here in the very near future, and, and pop up and, and price could start running very hard. Like if we remember TOMO was one of the first coins to run back up here. This could be consolidating um, here, you know, before a big move up. So I, I'm not, I'm in no way, shape or saying that I don't like TMO. I don't really like to trade the situation when it's, you know, it's just in a choppy mess, so to speak. I, I, I rather, I like to see something. I like to, I like it to show something to me or prove something to me. Now, if you're really looking to get bored this, well, you, you would have to trade a new three-day candle. You can see that we've had double, a double wicked, uh, sorry, a, a, a two, a double doji, uh, two candles in a row here, showing indecision in the market and uh, basically a stalemate. So often when this happens, uh, price can then maybe start to move. So maybe on a new three day, which is an eight hours time, might actually start to move this price, um, either up or down, right? It, I mean, it, it could drop. We could drop and stop on price before going higher. Um, if we but if we if we look here, for example, if we just get that in there, you can see there was a double doji here, a double doji, and then price actually moved higher. We had a big candle higher, and that, that's a decent move um, on that. That's a 30% bounce straight off the new three-day candle. So can this bounce? I'm not saying it's going to bounce 30%, but if it's green, you know you can get long on this because as you can see right here after a double doji. Uh, on a three-day chart, this wanted to break up, and maybe this can do the same. It did have that pullback before going higher again, but you know, if this is green, you you, you just have to get long on it. As I as I said, that, that you know, the market needs to show me something. Um, it, it might actually already be showing me something, and uh, and that is that we are forming a bullish engulfing candle here, implying that yes, maybe on a new three-day, maybe this wants to keep going. OK, so it might be trying to tell us something here. This is the second bullish engulfing candle in, in in a few days. This can often be pretty bullish. It's 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 nice to see like um, trying to get a good example. Well, for example, um, you have a bullish engulfing here and then you get the second one right here. And when you get the second one, you have another two days to the upside, which was actually if you bought on the open of that and took that signal after the second bullish engulfing and this flip green, well, that was a 25% bounce to the upside. So is this is this telling us something here right now that this wants to continue to pump to the upside and start breaking out? It's possible, you know, uh, two, two dojis, and this is a bullish doji. On top of that, we are above all moving averages, and these moving averages are going to continue to go higher. On top of that, we have bullish RSI here, on top of that, we have declining volume that might want to actually break out and start running to the upside. And then we have funding. We have bullish funding. This is trying to flip positive here. You can see when we flip positive here back in this funding, well, that was back here and price popped up. Well, you can see what we done from then on. We went ran very bullish. So there's a lot of signs here saying that this might want to run to the upside. So I would just trade the new three-day candle and if that flips green, you know, you can get long and put your stop below the lows.